Now, within our journey towards finding specific colleges, fully funding or, or, or full, being fully funded is another buzzword, right? And, and it's something that we need to be aware of. That way we can know if this is the best fit program for us. David, expand a bit. Yeah, ultimately a fully funded program means that the school is utilizing all of the scholarship money available. So in men's lacrosse, for example, a Division II school, they have 10.8 scholarships available for their entire program. And that team could consist of 30 to 40 players in some cases. But not every program is fully funded by that school or that university. So although at a max under NCAA rules, I'm allowed to use 10.8 scholarships as a Division II lacrosse uh, coach, um, that school may come to me and say, hey, we can't uh, afford to use all 10.8. So for this next class, you're allowed to use 8.8 .8 scholarships uh, for, your, for your program. So again, each school is going to be a little bit different. Um, so again, not every school is going to have the full amount available to use when it comes to these equivalency sports. Uh, that's something really important to know, Philip, because again, that can really dictate, again, the type of amount of money that maybe you can be asking for if you're trying to negotiate that scholarship money. Uh, it's, a, it's a big piece to it. But ultimately, the higher your grades are, whether you're a D1, D2, D3 athlete, whatever the case is, the more doors that's going to open up, the more potential for scholarships. So again, those coaches can maybe stack that scholarship money up, give you half of an athletic, maybe half of an academic scholarship. And the higher the grades are, the higher those test scores are, uh, the, the, the more money that's going to be uh, not, not your responsibility after you graduate and have debt and, and your parents are having to pay for it or you're having to pay for it. So uh, student athletes, we, we preach about grades for a reason. Stay on top of your grades. Very important. Help your parents out. Make sure those grades are high. And ultimately, again, that's going to be the best likelihood that you have higher funding towards your tuition. And the overall point of it is when it comes down to fully funded or not fully funded is ask. Right. If you're a student athlete, if you're a family, make sure you communicate that to the coach. Don't always assume that they're going to volunteer that information. Be proactive and get ahead of it. Because, again, if you're looking at a baseball program with, again, 11 and a half, a little bit over scholarships and maybe they're not fully funded and they only have you know, eight, maybe they only have seven, and those seven are already accounted for, well, that may cause you to adjust your approach a little bit when it comes down to actually looking to get recruited by that program. So really important, keep those grades high and make sure that communication is high as well when it comes to what a specific college has when it comes to funding, as well as what they have as far as a remaining allotment.